Welcome back to Violet's Online Mystery. By now, you should have had enough time to complete all 48 of the blocks needed to make the quilt. We're going to be sharing with you several layout options for the blocks you've done. You have an option of using all 48 blocks to make one large quilt, or we're going to be showing you several options to separate the blocks into different groups so you can make as many as three. It's going to depend on your selection. On July 25th, you will have an opportunity to come in to the shop and for just 50 cent to cover the printing cost, you will be able to get a color copy printout of the actual layouts. Since there'll be several, it will be 50 cent for each one you select, again, just to cover the um, cost of the color printing. Also starting July 25th is the 2011 Tidewater Summer Shop Hop event. This year's theme is rock and roll, quilting is here to stay. As you visit each of the participating locations, you will receive a free portion of the pattern to complete this year's themed quilt. Also at each location that you visit, you will receive a notions charm, and the notions charms as you collect them can be incorporated into the finished quilt that you'll be making. You're actually learning your varsity, earning your varsity letter in quilting. So the letter Q will be the center block. When you've completed all of the shop hop and you collect your finishing kit and instructions, the kit will include a 2011 shop hop charm. It's gonna be a lot of fun. So grab your BQFFs and get out and do the shop hop. You have a whole week to complete it and it's a lot of fun. Great sales and fun things to see and, and adventures to have. We'll be right back in a second to show you the first layout option for the online mystery. Hi everyone. The first option that we're going to show is the option to use all 48 of your completed blocks. You'll be laying them out in rows of six blocks to a row uh, with eight rows. Be sure to alternate the blocks in use just as you see here in the picture. This will make the finished quilt, if you use all 48 in the, the alternating layout, 74 by 98 inches prior to adding any borders. Again, you'll be laying them out with six blocks per row for a total of eight rows in an alternating block pattern. Hold on just a second and we're going to go ahead and show you the next layout option. The next option we're going to show you is to just use the 24 blocks that you see in the diagram here. Those are the first blocks that you made. So taking the 24 blocks, you can lay them out four blocks to a row for a total of um, six rows. And this will make a twin quilt before borders that measures 50 by 74. Again, that'll be four blocks per row for a total of six rows, measuring out to be 50 by 74. Again, this is using just the first block that we learned to make. This will give you a running bead or chain pattern, similar to a double chain or Irish chain. Now we'll move on to a third option. Our third option also includes using just 24 blocks. Again, doing a four block per row, six row layout. By doing it with just our second block we made, this is the pattern that we can form. Again, this option would also measure to be 50 by 74 inches before borders. By separating the 48 blocks into two 24 block quilts, you will be able to have two twin quilts finished with the blocks that you've made. We're going to give you a couple other options just for fun, but you can also take the blocks and move them around, twist them, turn them, and see what other options you come up with. Another option is to separate the 48 blocks with 12 of one block and 12 of another. So you're separating them into two groups of 24, but 12 of each block. Then lay them out in a pattern of four blocks per row for a total of six rows, with each row being one of the block patterns you completed, as you see here. 
By alternating the rows, you will get two identical quilts that will measure 50 inches by 74. This is great if you have twin beds or you're giving them to two siblings or you want to make sure that two people have the exact same quilt. You can take those 48 blocks and separate them. Keep in mind that you also could do blocks of just 12 in your quilt and you would actually be able to make four different quilts using 12 blocks. 12 blocks are very standard in quilts and depending on how you lay out your um, borders or if you put sashing between the blocks can determine the dimension your quilt will finish out. Be adventurous. Try some different techniques. This is a great opportunity for you to play with blocks and see exactly what you can come up with and be the designer. We hope that you have really enjoyed the Violet's Online Mystery and watch for future ideas and projects coming soon. Again, don't forget about the Shop Hop starting on July 25th and come on out and earn your cue in quilting for your Letterman quilt. Thanks and have a blessed day.